Are aliens here already? In my humble opinion, the evidence is overwhelming. That's why in my previous video we started exploring the possible gravitational propulsion system that they might use to travel such a vast distances in a short amount of time. As I promised, this will be part 2, so if you haven't watched my previous video, I strongly recommend you to watch it, I'll leave the link in the description. The bright light that UAPs are often associated with is a product of the propulsion system and the electromagnetic waves used to influence the spatial entanglement network and introduce curvature. UAPs emit a bright light signal that they send out to touch all the points in the space that they are manipulating and as we said every point in space is a quantum bit and the continuous space is due to the entanglement between those bits. Since the light is actually a part of the propulsion system, we expect it might change depending on navigation. For example, if UAP accelerates in any way, the intensity should increase or color might change. UAP theory speculates that the reactor on the craft changes the created entropy into an electromagnetic signal and transfer it into the entanglement network producing curvature along the spatial points touched by that signal. This means that the reactor produces gravitational field because the gravitational field is the entropy itself. This is very similar to the propulsion system that Bob Lazar has described while his alleged work in Area 51 on reverse engineering UFO crafts. His description is that the UFO reactor produces gravity and once you can produce gravity you can do whatever you want from bending space to time travel. Maybe in another video we can look into Bob Lazar claims if there's interest, so let me know down in the comments. This technology can also be used to lift objects, people or cattle by the UAPs. To do so, a beam needs to be projected to touch all the spatial points between the UAP and the ground. The electromagnetic signal produces the curvature and makes the objects fall up into the craft. The object would feel weightless but needs to be protected from moving sideways through the beam and falling out of it. This means the beam also produces a curvature that keeps object from falling out. An object lifted by such a beam would feel pressure from the sides but also experience weightlessness due to the free fall motion. The same technology can also be used to create electrical currents in any device. By projecting a beam and exploiting the link between spacetime and electromagnetism, any technology can be manipulated, nuclear weapons disabled and missiles sent back. There's also speculations that this link can be used to change and manipulate our own perception and reality because our body and brain also send electromagnetic signals. There was and still is an effort in the military to create or reverse engineer this exotic gravitational propulsion system and there are even patents made by the Navy and Salvatore Pais. So in my opinion we should take this concept and theory very seriously. The best way to support my content is to like and share my videos and of course subscribe to my channel with notifications on. You can also follow me on Twitter for more communication. The next video is going to be a wild ride, so buckle up because we are going to explore some really interesting ideas. See you soon!